Hi everyone, in this video you'll learn how to use the WAVE extension as a content writer. I'll demo how to use WAVE to check for accessibility issues before publishing new content. This is important because learning to use WAVE in your own process means you're able to contribute to making your website more accessible. Let's get started. WAVE is an extension you can use to test pages for accessibility issues. To use WAVE, you'll first need to install it. Check out the links below for the install link and other resources. Now I'll demo how to use WAVE. My CMS is WordPress, but this will work with any CMS. I just updated a page. I'm going to open the preview of the updates before I publish the page. Next, I'll select the WAVE extension to activate WAVE and go to the Details tab. While I'm in this tab, I'll focus on the errors, alerts, and features because that's where content writer related results usually are. Several of these alerts and features are for the WordPress top bar. I know this because I've tested a lot of pages, so I've gotten familiar with the results I'll get. You'll get the same familiarity with your website and CMS. If you want to avoid CMS specific results, you could publish your content and then immediately test in an incognito window. I'm going to uncheck the results I know are for WordPress to clean up my view. There are also some results that are for the website's template. Right now, I'm just focusing on issues in the content I publish, so I'm going to uncheck these results too. If you are ever unsure, just click on the result icon to go to it on the page. Then you can see if it's in the content section of the page. If the icon is grayed out, it's most likely not an issue in your content, but in the website's template. We're ready to go through the results for the new content. There is one error and three alerts in the content we need to check. The error is an empty heading, so I'll select the icon to go to where it is on the page. I just need to remove the empty heading block to fix it. Next, there's suspicious alternative text. Again, I'll select the icon. Wave displays the alternative text next to the image on the page. It's the image's file name, so I'll need to update that. The next alert is suspicious link text. I'll select the icon so I scroll to where it is on the page. If I'm not sure what the result means, I can select the icon on the web page and then select reference. This will take me to the reference tab where I can read what the result is and what to do about it. So I need to fix this link text so it says chocolate chip cookie recipe instead of click here. I'll go back to the details tab and my last alert is a YouTube video. For this, I just need to make sure the video I link to is accessible. Now I'm ready to check the features. There is only one feature result that relates to the content I can update. It's alternative text. So I just need to make sure the alternative text is correct. I'll select the icon and go to where the result is on the page. The alternative text is making cookies for a picture of a stand mixer. So I actually should update this to be something like KitchenAid stand mixer. This is why checking the features is important because sometimes it's wrong. I've gone through the results on the detail tab I can update. Now I'm going to the structure tab to check my headings real quick. I'll scroll to the main content region where my content headings are. I can see my empty heading error, which I already reviewed. But there's also another issue. There's a heading four that's being used as body text. I need to remove the heading styling on that text and choose another way to emphasize it. With a quick wave check, I found issues I can fix to help make my website more accessible. You're ready to use wave as part of your content publishing process.